This is a series of 100 films about Japanese foods that I've eaten, and this is a film about the most revered seafood product of them all. <music> Japanese people go insane about something called uni. In English, it's called sea urchin, hardly the most enticing name. It's a yellow paste, a very expensive yellow paste. You'll find it in the fish section of most grocery stores in Japan. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. At a lot of sushi restaurants, it feels like you're eating bland yellow toothpaste. It's often served as a maki sushi, where they roll the rice into a small ball and then wrap nori, seaweed, or paper around it to hold the uni. I ordered it once or twice in Tokyo, and I wasn't that impressed. Hokano. However, that all changed one summer. In the summertime, Tokyo, as in most of Japan, gets hot. The monsoon heat rises up from the southern Pacific and every day is over 30 degrees Celsius with a humidity in the, around the 100% and it's just absolutely awful. Your entire life is going from one air-conditioned environment to another. And fortunately, there's the Obon vacation in August. Most Japanese people get anywhere from a week to a week and a half off. And the idea is that you go back to your hometown and clean the graves of your ancestors. And in line with Buddhist tradition, everybody's cremated. Instead of graves, they'll have a kind of obelisk marker for the ashes. Hokano. So in August, you wash the grave and place some of the incense in a bowl of rice as an offering, and then you spend the rest of the time catching up with your old high school friends. Now, I didn't go to high school in Japan. I used this time to go to Hokkaido, which is the northernmost of the four major islands. From June 1st to about September 15th, while the rest of Japan is bathed in a sauna-like weather, Hokkaido isn't quite as bad. Even in Aomori, at the tip of northern Honshu, the evenings aren't th that bad, you know? And in Hokkaido, it's still 25 to 30 degrees, but it doesn't have that intense, awful humidity that makes life misery if you're not at the beach. Rather than fly or take the bullet train, I would always go the cheap way. I'd buy a Seishin Juhachikipu. Directly translated, it's called a young person's 18 ticket. Only sold at certain times of the year. It's a special kind of ticket that allows you to travel all day long for as long as you want on local Japan railway trains. So it's not the bullet train or the reserved limit express trains, only local trains, the ones that are slow, like subway trains. And basically, if, you, if you're some in university student with no money, rather than trying to skip the gates and evade your fare, you buy one of these things and a whole day's travel costs only 15 bucks. What I would do is start in Tokyo very early in the morning around 7.30. By 11.30 at night, I would arrive at Aomori and then take a ferry across the Sugata Strait overnight. And I could sleep on the ferry during the four hour journey to Hakodate. I was by myself a single 28-year-old male, and I wouldn't necessarily do this with a family of five, but you know, it was an adventure. And Hakodate reminded me a lot of my own hometown in, in Atlantic Canada. It's a port city. Most importantly, they also have a morning market. It's literally called Asa Shichi, the morning market. And it basically is a bunch of stalls next to the train station. You walk around and see all the fish for sale, and they have a lot of restaurants where you can buy chirashidan. That's where the chef cuts up different kinds of raw fish and puts it on a bowl of rice, and it makes a great breakfast, and only breakfast since the market pretty much shuts down around lunchtime. The second or third time I visited the morning market, I saw a woman sitting in a stall uh, with a styrofoam box. Inside was sea urchin, fully intact in the seawater. After paying about $3.50 yen, she opened it up with a knife and handed me fresh, raw sea urchin straight from the ocean a day before. I took a spoon and ate the yellow paste and it was absolutely delicious. It felt like you were eating gourmet seafood. So this is why people go crazy for this stuff, I realized. That is, when it's fresh out of the sea. So now, the further north you go in Japan, the better the fish. The waters are colder, the fish are more fat, and fat adds flavor. And if you want the real Japanese seafood experience, you definitely want to try these fish markets outside of Tokyo. They often get better fish for a lot less. Where can I get it? If you're new to Japan, you'll probably want to start in Tokyo, go to Haneda Airport, fly to Hakodate International Airport, take the bus to Yunokawa Streetcar Station, from there, transfer to Streetcar Line 2 or Line 5. Get off at Hakodate Ekimai Streetcar Stop, 
walk two blocks east towards the water. The morning market will be on your left. As always, keep in mind by the time you're watching this, this information might be out of date. The word of the day. The word of the day is Hokano. It's the Japanese word for other, as in Hokano something something. Like Hokano potato, that means a different potato. As always, feel free to watch this film 10 more times and repeat along with me. Next time! So that's it until next time when we look at the Japanese version of Mean Girls through food. So until then, sayonara.